up? This is Simon from DevDactic. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate the iOS Game Center into your Ionic app. And for this we will use a Cordova plugin which you can find on GitHub. And we will add a leaderboard and achievements. So let's jump into and start with a blank Ionic app. Perfect start. So I'm on a Mac and I'm gonna develop this app for the iOS platform. If you're not using a Mac, you won't be able to build for the iOS platform. So we add our plugin from GitHub. And if it's done, we can already add our platform. And when this is done, we can prepare our iOS. Okay. So let's jump into the code. is somehow a bit broken. So what do we need? We will have a button to report an achievement. We will have a button to uh, submit some scores. And we will have a button to go to the game center. And finally, we will have a button to reset our achievements. So for now, some styling. Okay, that's enough. So we add our three buttons and we make them go here just because it looks like really nice and the first one will trigger our achieve action okay so the next ones i'm just gonna copy paste this one will score and this will show the game set. All right. Now the last one I mentioned was to reset it. And we will add a footer bar. somehow to get automatically to reset maybe next time this one will trigger the reset game center function so finally we're gonna add our controller which we will create very soon I hope it's fine for now so jump to our app.js yeah somehow it came up so our controller What we need is just this go. Seems like anything is broken here. Whatever. So 
before I continue at this point, I just want to make sure um, you have an uh, app already registered with your iOS account. So you need to create one with your developer profile, generate a provisioning profile, and finally go to your iTunes Connect and create a new app with your provisioning profile and enable the game center. So we will come back to these points, but make sure to enable the game center and make sure you copy your ID that you sign to the app into the config file of our Cordova project. Otherwise the app won't be recognized and nothing will work. Okay, so yeah, app controller is gone. Okay, here it is. So first of all, we want to have some authentication inside our Ionic platform ready function. So for this, we will call the plugin we added and it's very simple. It's just gamecenter.auth with a success callback and a failure callback. Yeah, that's everything. I will define these functions. Um, otherwise we would, oh, come on, we will get some errors, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, we won't see this anyway, so we can leave this one and create the failure callback. So that's already done. I hope my tome is saving everything, otherwise I would rage very hard. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we will copy this too as we will need them here. But let's go to our cheap method or function, whatever. So what do we want to do? We want to report an achievement to the iOS game center. So we get this tiny message from the top saying, yay, you achieved anything. And we will have a look where this data is coming from very soon. For now, I'm just gonna add the things we need to achieve id which is and we need to set a percentage it should be 100 if the achievement is completely done and finally we need to call our game center again and say submit oh no wrong report achievement obviously and again success callback failure callback happy time no not happy time again we need to add our data okay that's the cheap function i will copy it for now as the next one is pretty much the same the score function where we just want to submit some score to our yeah, leaderboard we created on iTunes Connect. And for this, we obviously have the score. Well, let's say that's the score. And we need not the achievement ID, but the leaderboard ID, which is for me. What we do now is not report achievement, but submit score, obviously. Okay, it's not very hard with this Cordova plugin. So the third one was to show the 
game sander and we want to show a leaderboard view i will come back to this very soon so what we have to do is not report or submit but show with our data well as we are as good as ready i can add the last one as well it was reset the game sander and what we're going to do is game sander dot reset achievements with guess what success callback and a failure callback so that's everything let's take a short look at my itunes connect page so what i'm doing i added an achievement and my achievement id is didactic game 001 just as i expect it you can add some more things like uh, an image and points you will grant for this achievement but yeah, whatever it's not very complicated and the other part is we have this leaderboard section in here and you have to add a leaderboard so my reference name is leaderboard and the id was leaderboards which is shown here and if we go into that now we have some things and finally here we have our leaderboard name which you can find in the show game center function so with my account saved everything we can give it a try and hopefully it will work must be some little bug here inside it's not showing me correctly so let's wait a second and there it is yay it's already the view and this pop-up is coming from our game center authentication here i'm gonna type in my details and we will try to log in and the game center says welcome back simon if this is not uh, coming in your app don't worry you can go to the settings game center and scroll to the bottom of that tab inside your iphone or yeah, simulator whatever and make sure to enable the uh, sandbox function so in that case you will have to uh, delete the app and open the official game center app and log in and then everything should work you can find the help inside my tutorial on the tactic or if you have any problems just contact me so now everything should be set up we are logged in with the game center and now we can try to achieve and yeah achievement completed perfect that was exactly what we wanted next we try to score something and if you score something you won't get some feedback but we can see it in the game center if we click show game center and we see our leaderboard and me with some points additionally we see the achievements and that was just the achievement with 100 points i created on itunes connect and the last point was to reset our game center and it's more or less for testing only so if we go back our achievements are zero of one so they are reset okay so i guess that's all for now if you have any questions contact me i would be very happy if you follow me on devdactic.com or on my youtube channel which should get some more videos in the next time and yeah see you then and have fun with the ionic framework